welcome back students hope all of you are doing well so today we are going to start chapter number 5 verbs present tense which will also include present tense is perfect tense okay means present perfect and present perfect continuous okay so let's begin so what are present tenses so a present tense signals an action that is currently going on or habitually performed means routine based work okay the present tense of verbs expresses events or actions that are occurring now okay so what are present tense these are habitual action and which are occurring now okay so the present tense is form how many types of tenses are there there are three tenses present past and future okay and they were further subdivided into four tenses okay so today we will only focus on present tense and its forms so present tense are four forms that are simple present for example he jumps present progressive sometimes we name it as sometimes we call it also present continuous that is he is jumping present perfect he has jumped present perfect progressive or present perfect continuous tense i have been jumping now we will discuss each of them elaborately okay so the simple present is used to express facts or truth so where we use simple present tense we use simple present tense while expressing facts or truths like ken lives in canada so this is a truth also this is a fact also okay routine work means habitual actions like ken washes his car on sundays now every sunday okay ken washes his car okay this is a routine based work now state of being means what is the present condition of a person like ken is happy so his mental or present condition is he is happy okay so so we also use simple present tense for exclamatory sentences like how fierce the storm is okay and also for proverbs and sayings like a bad workman quarrels with his tools so now let's learn some formulas of framing simple present sentences simple present tense sentences okay now as you can see he she it these are these three are third person singular number okay with these three we use v1 form or the base form of the verb and we add s or es with it okay and with i u v and they we use v1 form or base form of the verb but we don't add s or es all right now let us see the formula subject plus v plus s or es so this only goes with the third person singular number plus object he is a third person singular number okay so he writes a letter okay with verb space form i have used here s they play cricket but with they okay we use play cricket okay we didn't add any s or es with it now come to the second one subject plus does or do plus not plus v plus object okay this is a negative sentence this is for negative sentence he with he she it we use does and with i u v they we use do okay so he does not write a letter okay and with they they do not play cricket come to the next one does or do plus subject plus verbs plus object this is for interrogative sentence affirmative interrogative sentence okay so does he write a letter do they play cricket okay now come to the fourth one does or do plus subject plus not plus verb plus object plus one question mark so this is the interrogative negative statement okay this formula is for interrogative negative statement now does he not write a letter 
do they not play cricket so as you can see these are four basic formulas of forming the simple present tense okay okay now let us know what does present progressive mean present progressive also means present continuous tense okay so the present progressive or the present continuous expresses actions that are happening now or that are in progress okay so where we can use present progressive sentences actions that are happening now so when we can use to express the actions that are happening now like rohan is watching television okay so this is happening now and to also express actions that are in progress that means the actions which are continuing like they are completing a project together so the action is still continuing okay so here are also some basic formulas which we have to learn in order to frame present continuous sentences okay so let's begin with the first one okay before that i want to tell you with singular he she it we use is and with plural we and they plural means more than one okay so with plural we use we we use are okay we are they are okay and with i we also use am and with you also we also use are okay now subject plus am is are plus present participle that is v plus ing form okay present participle plus object so this is for the affirmative sentence okay as i said with he he is a singular number so with he i have used here is okay then i have added the verb and with the verb i have added ing and formed a present participle plus an object okay he is singing a song okay now come to the next example with they they is a plural so they are playing cricket come to the next one okay now come to the second formula that is subject plus am is are plus not plus verb plus ing plus object so this uh, this formula goes for negative sentences okay now he is not reciting a poem they are not playing cricket okay come to the third one see the helping verb that is am is are while asking question they comes first so am is are plus subject plus verb plus ing plus object plus one question mark so this is for interrogative affirmative sentences okay is he reciting the poem are they playing cricket come to the next one am is are plus subject plus not plus verb plus ing plus object plus one question mark so this formula goes for interrogative negative sentences remember one thing student whenever you will find not they are negative sentences okay so here we are getting question mark at the end and also not so that's why it is interrogative negative sentence is he not reciting the poem are they not playing cricket okay so see another thing i've written we all know that am is used as a helping verb with i now another thing also you need to remember what is that the present progressive can also be used for future events okay like and for there for that we have to use one formula what is that formula subject plus am is are plus going plus infinitive means to plus verb space form okay infinitive to go to wash 
too clean like that okay i am going to wash the car tomorrow okay now come to the next one it is present perfect tense and what does this mean this tense is used to express those actions that have been finished recently okay and where we can use per present perfect tense to express actions in the past of indefinite time means no particular time has been mentioned okay then to express actions that have started in the past but continue to present okay for the first example is i have traveled to paris but when there is no definite time for the next one i have always admired you okay means it has started in the past and still it is continuing okay i have always admired you now one thing you need to remember with he she it we use has and with i you we they we use have okay now let's see the formulas for forming affirmative sentence we have to use first the subject plus has or have plus v3 form means past participle of verb okay plus object now she has as i told you with he she it we use has so here the subject is she so with she i will use of course has she has completed now completed is a v3 form of the verb she has completed her homework okay come to the next example they have completed their work now with they i told you to use have we use generally have so they have completed their work this is a formula of affirmative sentences okay come to the next subject plus has or have plus not plus v3 that is past participle form of verb plus object she has not completed her homework they have not completed their work now come to the next one for asking question we need to move this has have okay in front of the subject has or have plus subject plus v3 that is again past participle form of a verb plus object plus one question mark okay now has she completed her homework have they completed their work then this formula okay this formula is for interrogative affirmative sentences okay come to the next one has or have plus subject plus not plus v3 plus object plus one question mark has she not completed her homework have they not completed their work so this is formula this formula is for interrogative negative sentence okay now come to the last one of present tense that is present perfect progressive or present perfect continuous tense what does this tense mean the present perfect progressive or continuous tense expresses actions that began in the past and are still in progress means still continuing okay so where we use these sentence and uh, this tenses to express actions that began in the past but continue to present the baby has been crying for hours okay now i told you that with he she it or any third person singular number we use has and with i you we they we use have so the baby has been crying for hours okay now come to the next one we use this tense also to express actions that have recently stopped 
I have been waiting for you. Okay. Now to form this present perfect progressive tense, we also have some formulas. Let us know. First one, subject plus has or have plus been plus v1 present participle. As I told you, since it's a progressive or continuous tense, we have to use v means the base form of the verb v1 plus ing. Okay, plus object. Like, Roman has been living here since 2010. Okay. Then, they have been living here since 2010. Okay. With Roman, I have used has. Then, I have used been. And then, V1 form plus ing. And with they, we have used here have plus one been plus v1 plus ing here okay come to the next one subject plus has or have plus not plus been plus v1 plus ing plus object now roman has not been leaving here since 2010 they have not been leaving here since 2010 so this formula is for negative sentence okay come to the next one has or have plus subject plus been plus v1 plus ing plus object plus one question mark so this formula is for interrogative affirmative sentence or positive sentence has roman been leaving here since 2010 question mark have they been living here since 2010 question mark okay come to the next formula that is has or have plus subject plus not plus been plus v1 plus ing plus object plus one question mark so has roman not been living here since 2010 have they not living here since 2010 so this uh, is a formula for interrogative negative sentences okay so that's all for today children hope you have understood verbs present tense with the perfect and the perfect continuous tense and please go through the pdf and try to understand okay and please if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in the live session okay thank you student